In this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you to do a quick and dirty, big head effect without needing to do any complicated masking or rotoscoping or green screening. So this is only going to work on certain type of clips where the background is suitable and the fore and the person and the head movement is suitable, but it still should work on a good variety of example clips. So the first thing we're going to do is start with our original clip. And there's some movement in this. The camera is moving a little, and the head movement is slightly moving, not too much craziness. And what I'm going to do is just duplicate the original layer on top of itself. So I can do that by holding Option, clicking and dragging it on top of itself. Now in the Effects Control Panel, we can go to the Opacity section, and we can create a new mask. So you can use the Pen tool if you want to really get in there and create a custom shape. Or you can use the Circle tool. I'll use the pen tool in this case just cause, and I'm gonna create a mask that kind of just goes around the neckline, and then around the shape of his head. So this is as tedious as it'll get is just this, this step right here. But I don't even have to make it perfect to the point where it's literally following the exact edge. Just kind of a rough outline. Now on this mask, if you go to the mask path section, you'll see as the camera moves, the mask falls out of place. So what we're going to do to fix that is use this tracking feature. If I just press the play button, it'll track this mask forward frame by frame, and this will work best if, again, there's not crazy head movement whipping around or things moving in front of the frame. So this is what it looks like after Premiere has tracked your mask. It's tried to follow, it's created a keyframe for literally every single frame, and it's tried to follow the head movement. If I turn off the visibility of the layer underneath, we could see we now have this kind of flubbing head happening, and... I like the mask. It's pretty much done a great job. If it didn't do a great job, then you might want to delete some of those portions or go in there and try to move the mask and, and kind of do those keyframes by hand if you need to. The other things that we have in this menu, which is gonna, are gonna help us is the mask feather and the mask expansion. So we can see this rough, choppy edge that we created. I want to just feather that out so it's a lot more soft. That. And if I need to, I can expand out, or in a little bit just to shrink it as I need. This is gonna be good because you know, the seat and everything behind him. It creates lines that are not gonna match up when we scale it in, and we want to have as little of those problems as possible. So now I've got the floating head, and then we've got the original layer underneath and I can simply just increase the scale of this video and it'll make his head bigger. So let's just do like, I don't know, 150. No, that's way too big. Let's do like 130. So make it 30 points bigger. Now, since the anchor point of this layer is in the middle, it kind of scales out that way. So you are gonna have to add a few key frames onto the position. So let's go to the first frame, for example. Let's put the, the neckline kind of where it should be and then I'm gonna move forward a bit if we can. If we can just leave it like this the whole time, that's fine. But you also might want to add a few key frames. So if I go to the position change, let's say like right here, I think it should go back down a little bit again, or go to the left a little bit again. I can do that, and it might be suitable enough for me to add like maybe three or four key frames for this clip just on the position. Again, I think maybe the feathering I've done is a bit too much, and maybe I can expand it back out a little bit just to fix some things. But when I play this back, I've created a pretty quick and dirty big head effect that. For short portions or for quick viewing, doesn't look that crazy bad. And it's not like this effect will only work on, you know, just because this clip is good. So this is the quick and dirty method. If you do want some After Effects ideas for this, I've made other videos with similar ideas. But in After Effects, and I'll probably still make more in the future, so you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.